me and Brittany can be like best friends. Yes, it's Brittany. It's my song. To the next level, baby. The remix. Blow your mind tonight. I can't take it, take it, take no more. Like felt like this before. Get me, get me on the floor. What you, what you waiting for? She was like, oh, 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 oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Brittany is the shh. Shut up. <laughs> so, um. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked if hair texture mattered and why. Um, I figured I'd answer it because I, I feel like it does matter. Um, especially if you've been relaxed and that's all you know. And you're scared for what's to come. You're sure that you don't want a relaxer. That's what you're sure of. But you've never seen, you say you've never seen your hair, your true hair. You, you've seen the length that it can, you know, grow to, but you never one, you're not ready for the process, and you're not ready for uh, what's about to come out your head, basically. But it matters because, like I said, you want to you want to know just so you can be prepared. So it's like a baby. You want to be prepared before the baby gets here. Your my head is like my baby. It's giving you're giving birth to something new. That's how I feel about it. So texture is important to me because um, it prepares me for the future, it prepares me for things that I wouldn't have had to worry about had I been relaxed. Yeah, basically. Um, <clears throat> it matters to me because, um, what else? Me and Brittany thinking together. What else? Why does it matter? It matters to me because Brittany, you gotta go, honey. I love you. I love you, Brittany. Leave Brittany alone. It matters to me because it, it's gonna define you, really. It's gonna define you. It's gonna it's gonna let people see who you really are. But before you let people see who you really are and decide that you want people to see who you really are, you wanna see who you really are. So I think that that type of thing matters as well. Some people see their hair texture and don't like it, and they, they go right back to perm. Some people do that. So there there are a lot of things that uh, play, well, those two, to my knowledge, play a part in um, why you would like to know your texture. Um, she said something about looking down on four people with four, four, four textured hair. For me, I look up to you guys, seriously. Um, even though you four, what, four C people, you, you might have it harder than other people sometimes, you know, because you guys have like the, the, the I won't, I'm not trying to dish you, but you guys have like the brittle pads, seriously. And, um, I feel like, um, yeah, you, I look up to you guys cause I wanted that textured hair. And so I'm, I'm now knowing that I'm not, I'm not going to get it because my hair, top of my hair is straight and it really really it, it it upsets me a little bit but it is what it is god gave it to me and i'm, I'm thankful for it and um yeah i'm a, i think i'm a, i'm a c i'm a c something c3 maybe um yeah c3 i think i believe and some but 4b 4A, 4A, 4B, on the sides and in the back, maybe, maybe, um, I don't know, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I just did that kind of weird, I said, I don't know, yeah, but, um, I'm kind of speechless on that, texture is just, I don't know, it just, to me, sometimes it makes or breaks a lot of things. 
um, if you're relaxed, it makes like the texture of your hair. Sometimes in school, it makes or breaks the people who you, who hangs out with you. Like if your hair is a certain way, people don't hang out with. It depends on on, on a lot of things. Um, what type of uh, society you're trying to get into, really? Um, yeah, that's basically all I can say about that texture. I mean, from from my perspective, from my from my opinion, my personal opinion, that's what I feel. Uh, for me, that that's why I would want to know my texture. Number one, to take care of it. Number two, to just know what I'm getting into. You know, I don't. You know, if you were for something and you, you know you had, a, a, you cut your hair off and you, it grew up as a fro, and it was a kinky kinky fro, and you didn't know what that was, and you didn't. You know, you you just want to know what to look out for, um, and how to prepare yourself for. Uh, the future like that like I said before it's it's something that um, should be you know it shouldn't be taken lightly because it's your hair it's something like I said it's going to define you it's you look better with it than without it so the the more you have of it the better um, the more you have of it I, I, I can probably say that the the, the more likely you're gonna um, gain prosperity in certain areas in your life via um, in your marital status or relationships or uh, well they can't discriminate with your job but you know just certain things it, it, I'm going in circles but yeah texture matters to me for those reasons and those reasons alone without knowing I'd be lost knowing your texture is like living life really you just want to know it's like you just want to know because maybe maybe you want a, a more abundance of it <laughs> um next question this one actually came from me did i just ask this question already i'm not sure but keep it my hair is straight as i first dated and I really want to know if I cut my hair is like really really soft and I didn't think that it would be this soft like my hair is really really it's really really tough in the back but in the front it's like really really soft and I'm not, I don't know what to say to that like I know I'm like I said I know I'm three something I'm a three C something but the fact that it's hard in the back and soft in the front really really freaks me out <laughs> a little bit because like my hair always end up with these curls. See that right there? The little mustache looking curl right there? My hair is straight as a bone. Like, there's no curl there. And I'm thinking, like, when it grows out, when it gets there, will it look funny? I kind of pictured my hair looking like... I, we always picture our hair... Well, I know I do. I picture my hair looking like somebody else's. Like, one minute before I cut my hair, I wanted it to be kinky. Like pretty dimples and now I'm leaning more on the side of Vivalacious her channel is the bomb y'all need to go check that out Vivalacious it's V-I-V-A-L-A-C-I-O-U-S Vivalacious yes Vivalacious and um she has the most beautiful head of hair that I've seen thus far as a 3B 3B through 3C something like that so if I'm if I'm in that category of a three B three C something like that, I'd rather I, I want my hair to look like that. Not red. Her she got this red thing going on, but you know, I want my tech like my my when it grows out, I want my hair to pop like that. So um yeah, and I'm trying to figure out. If I can like wash these, I cut some more hair. I don't know you keep saying. I know you y'all think it like girl. Stop cutting your hair. I am. I promise I am. It's just that every time I feel some hair, it's just not in place. I just gotta cut it. Like I want to cut this right here, but I'm not gonna leave it alone because it's just not worth it. If it's gonna grow, it's gonna grow. And I, I should get this. I want to get this. Um, what you call it? I've been listening to Britney so much that I didn't lost my train of thought. 
what you call it what you want call it split editor yeah so yeah I guess and then I want to wash these it's so much stuff to put in um my hair <gasps> I'm sorry I'm a little bit sleepy it's like four o'clock in the morning and I gotta get up you guys oh my god let me tell you this that <laughs> last year I got a ticket for um I didn't drive. I don't drive at the time. No, I don't think I drove at the time. I was on the bus with my friends. They were going to the bank. Where I was going to the bank. And they decided to come with me. And at the time, I didn't know my, my bus pass or my, you know, ticket or whatever had expired. So the transit police had got on the uh, train and was like, well, let me see your pass. I'm like, okay, here. He was like, oh, it's expired. I'm like, are you serious? He was like, yeah. So I like offered to pay him or whatever. And then so he was like, no. He like, we got off the train or whatever. Me and both of my friends, I was feeling no, I wasn't embarrassed because, you know. We were cool like that. We've been knowing each other for years. And so I ended up getting a ticket. And um I could have waived it and I didn't know it. I didn't I don't know. You know how you get a ticket and you just be so busy, you just uh, that's how I be. Or I am, not I be. That's ghetto. Um, that's how I am and so um I ended up not paying the ticket. Or not even know what the price of the ticket was, so I couldn't pay it. I didn't know any of that because I didn't call nobody. I was working so much that it was just like, uh, leave me alone. So, to make a long story short, I went on an interview and then I got a background check. And in my background check, it showed up that I had that warrant. They said if you didn't pay the ticket, it was going to turn into a misdemeanor or, or a warrant. And so <clears throat> now, until I get that taken care of, I can't work. I can't work, you guys. Like, that's bad. Pray for I can't work. I'm gonna get on my knees and go to my secret place and cry and pray and seek the face of God seriously because this is not fair. This is, I'm a good person. I'm a good law abiding citizen or at least I try to be in that one incident just checked that my life will part of it. Not the entire thing but you know I'm a good person aren't I? Right? Right. Right. I, yeah. I knew he was my friend. Um, but yeah. What did I ever do to deserve this? I just wanted to go to the bank and bring out some, take out some money. Like, was that an issue? Was that a problem? Like, and then the thing about it was that those people, they did the dumbest thing. Well, it's smart for them, but, you know, dumb for those who try to get over on people. Get over on them who smart enough to give them a ticket. But anyway, uh, what they did was, what they used to do was make you pay before you get on the train or the bus or whatever. Now, they got these police. <laughs> So that you don't have to pay. Like, they get on, you get on the train. It's real stupid. Okay, you're supposed to buy your ticket before you get on the train. But if the train is coming, then you have to get on it because, you know, you might be late or whatever. So, usually, usually you would be able to pay when you got on the train. But now they make it so you can't pay. And so, um, because you can't pay, you're like stuck on the train. And so when the transit police show up and you try to explain to them, you get a ticket. Like it's not my fault. And me, I didn't even I didn't even know like they had machines back then. Like ugh, it irked my nerves so bad. And so when I explained it to my friends, it was like, Are you serious? So now I'm stuck in the house for like another couple of weeks or whatever. I gotta call these people in the morning. Lord pray for me that I don't have to pay no money and they can, this ugh, this can just go away and I don't have to go to court. If I go to court, if I can, if I have to go to court versus paying some money, I will go to court. I've never been to court, y'all. I never been in trouble in my life. I never broke no bones. I just wanna. <laughs> I don't know how this video turned into something <laughs> that it wasn't supposed to be turned into, but anyway, I'm about to go cry because I think my life isn't over yet. But it's just the fact that I have this, just that I know that I have this thing that I never. I feel like I'm a criminal, y'all. I feel like I'm a criminal. I don't want to be a criminal. I'm a woman. Women can't be criminals. Well, not me. I'm a good woman. Husband ain't gonna want me if I got a warrant for my arrest. I'm going now. Come and subscribe. I would like to say that now. Clap up, cry. That was so funny, but yeah. Come on, Brittany.